Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. It's been almost 5 months since I uploaded my first video on how to set up emulators and add retro games onto your Steam Deck. The feedback and the engagement on that video has been absolutely amazing and I can't thank you enough for keep commenting, helping each other and liking that video. However, time has passed and things have changed in these months, so I thought, what the heck, let's start clean. So in this video, I have wiped my Steam Deck to factory default and I will format my 1TB SD card and I intend to show you the setup process for emulators and games as of September 2022. First of all though, I'm gonna assume that you have already seen my original video as I go through a few things there that I will count on you that you already know when you watch this video. For example, how the mouse buttons and triggers in Steam Deck's desktop mode works. So pause the video and go check that one out before you continue with this one. Now, if you didn't tap the link in the right corner of this video, I will of course also leave a link to the tutorial in the video description. Now let's jump into it. Well then, as you can see my internal storage is already wiped clean, but my SD card is almost out of storage, so let's start off by formatting it. So hit the Steam button and scroll to System and then scroll down to Format SD card. Hit Format and then Confirm. This will take a while, so just sit back and wait for it to be done. And I will of course speed up the process in this video. And once that is done, you can now see that our micro SD card is totally wiped from data. Now hit the Steam button again, scroll down to Power and hit Switch to Desktop Mode. Now since our Steam Deck is booting into Desktop Mode for the first time since we restored it to Factory Settings, you might get a bunch of update prompts when you log into the Desktop Mode, so just let it update everything before you proceed. Once all the updates are installed, start up your browser, which by default is Mozilla Firefox, but you're actually gonna have to install it by tapping install in the right corner of the Discovery app. And once Firefox is installed, click the address field, hit the Steam button plus X to open your virtual keyboard and surf over to emudeck.com. Once here, click on download and then click on download app. Let the download complete. You can show all downloads and drag the installation file to your desktop. And then start up the installation by clicking on the app on your desktop. Now this process is very straightforward, but I will still guide you through each and every step of this installation process. First of all, you will get this information prompt about what Emudeck will do, so just hit OK to keep on going. Then choose Expert Mode to get a few more options. And then click on SD card if you want to install it to your card instead of your internal storage. The next window that pops up will let you choose a bunch of stuff. The two options in the top require you to set a sudo password for your Steam Deck. You don't have to install those if you don't want to, but I highly recommend it since it will allow you to install native gyro for your Wii U games, which is pretty much a must if you intend to complete puzzles in Breath of the Wild for example. So continuing the installation process with those options ticked will lead you to another prompt, this time telling you that you need to set a new Steam Deck password in your terminal. So hit the menu button in the left corner, click on search and open your virtual keyboard, tap in console and then open your console and here you're simply gonna write passwd and you're gonna set your new password. Type your new password and then type it again and you're all done. Once that is complete, close down your terminal or console and continue with the installation process. Straight away you will have to type in your new password. So once again click on the Steam button plus X to launch your virtual keyboard and then type in your password. After that it will ask you to choose a theme for your emulation station which is a frontend that you can use later. And then it will ask you which emulators to install. I'm gonna install everything except for Metroid Prime or Prime Hack since it's nothing I'm gonna use. And then it's gonna ask you whether you want widescreen hack and that is if you want your games to fill out the screen. 
And lastly, it's gonna tell you that EmuDeck will reset all the emulator configurations to default EmuDeck settings, which is gonna be the option most of you are gonna want. This is only affecting you if you already have an emulator installed that you want to keep your configurations for. And once you hit OK, EmuDeck will start grabbing everything and set up your Steam Deck, and this will take a while, so go grab a coffee or something and come back later. The next prompt we'll get is to insert our username and password for our Retro Achievements account. Retro Achievements is basically what it sounds like. It's a third party site that will give your old retro games achievements to strive for. It's a plugin for the RetroArch emulator that we also installed through this method, but it requires you to get a free account on their website to insert here. Next is a prompt about the Nintendo Switch emulator Juzu. Switch emulators need actual Switch firmware and game keys to work, and this is information on where to put said firmware and keys. Now I can't give you information on where to download firmware and keys, I have dumped my own Switch firmware and game keys by using my custom modded Switch, but you'll have to go to Google to learn more about that. Anyway, now the installation process is finally complete, we have successfully installed all the emulators we chose in the beginning to the micro SD card in our Steam Deck. And just to see how that looks in practice, we can click on this icon in the bottom right corner to access our external drives, or in this case our micro SD card named primary. As you can see, we now have a folder named emulation, and inside that folder we can click on ROMs, and inside that folder we have folders for basically every system ever made, or at least every system you might want to emulate games for. But now it's time to add games. I'm gonna show you how to add Wii U games since that's one of my favorite retro systems, if it can be called retro, I don't really know. But it also happens to be a system that runs extremely well on the Steam Deck. As a matter of fact, I actually prefer to play Wii U games on Steam Deck instead of my OG Wii U. So what I like to do is that I use a big USB thumb drive that I insert into my PC, then I drag and drop all the games that I have stored there. I also have the very important keys.txt file that contains all the game keys for Wii U. Once again, I can't tell you where to get the games or the game keys, but if you use Google you can find other guides that teaches you how to dump your own games and keys from your Wii U. The Wii U games are pretty big and this will take a very long time, so once again go do something else and come back when it's done. That took about half an hour, but now I have all my games on this thumb drive, as well as the keys.txt. I then use a small adapter to go from USB-A to USB-C so that it will fit my Steam Deck. Then all we have to do with the game files on our USB is to drag and drop them into the correct system folder on our micro SD card. In this case it's of course the Wii U folder or more specifically the ROMs folder inside the Wii U folder. And of course you guessed it, once again this is something that will take a lot of time so go do something else and come back in about half an hour. Once all that is complete, we need to copy our game keys to the right folder on our Steam Deck. Copy the txt file. Then go into your micro SD card. Go into emulation, ROMs, scroll down to Wii U. And paste it there. If you get an error later when trying to launch your games saying something about keys, this is why. You probably don't have the correct keys.txt here. Alright, so now that we have our Wii U games and game keys in the right folder on our SD card, it's time to use Steam ROM Manager to set up which emulator we want visible in the Steam OS environment, as well as grab art for all our newly added Wii U games. First a little heads up, when you start the Steam ROM Manager it will automatically disable your Steam client in the background. And for some reason when the Steam client is disabled you can't mouse click with the trackpads anymore. Instead your left and right mouse click is moved over to the left and right triggers. Don't ask me why, it's just how it works. On the left you see something called parsers. These are all the emulators that will show up in Steam OS when we switch back to gaming mode. I like to disable everyone and then only choose the ones I have games for. In this case it's only Wii U. <music> 
Once we have enabled those, we go to preview and then generate app list to start grabbing art for all our games. Now, depending on how many games you add, that will take a little while. And once it's complete, click on save app list to add it to your Steam client's game library. Wait until you get a message saying done adding, removing entries, and you're finally done with installing both emulators and adding games to play on your Steam Deck. Close down Steam ROM Manager and go back to gaming mode so we can see how it looks from there. Back in gaming mode you can just hit your Steam button, click on library and then head over to the collections tab and you should see your newly added emulator and games there. Apparently I forgot to hide Switch and GameCube but you will get something that looks pretty much like this. That's been it for this updated tutorial on how to install emulators and add retro games to your Steam Deck in September 2022. I really recommend that you watch my original tutorial as well since many of the things there still apply today. I also have a bunch of other Steam Deck tutorials among my other videos so make sure to check those out as well. Other than that I just want to thank you all for keeping engaging with my content and for sharing your thoughts and questions in the comment section. Also a massive thank you to every single one of you that have decided to subscribe to my channel. It really means everything to me. That's it for now, catch you in the next one.